Good morning. Let's make us a little card using our joy. Let's use our longer mat today and see how this works. You guys know the routine. I'm over here trying to open up the video so that I can monitor the chat. There we go. Let's share it so in case anybody wants to join, they can. Let's get it shared out there. So a couple of years ago, I, I created a file in Design Space. And made a card with it. And today, I let that load up. Let me go let this kitty cat in before he drives me insane. He should have wanted to do this before my live. All right, so I need to go to my stuff. to go to projects I need to go to my mason jar let's go to customize say replace so that is what it's going to look like before we add anything to it and so these are the th items we're going to be cutting out so let's go ahead and say make it says it's not compatible. Why is it not compatible? Everything should be compatible. What's not compatible? The pen. The pen is not compatible. Why is that not compatible? All right, so we're going to take off the sentiment. That would... It doesn't make sense why it's not compatible. Let's go back. All right. Why is thanks not compatible? Okay, the word thanks is compatible, but the other one is not. We don't want it to look like that. That doesn't look good. So go back to layers. Go back to the thanks very much. And just get rid of that. Now let's try make it and see what happens. There we go. Alright, so the first piece it wants us to cut is the gray. Good morning, Melissa. I don't know why. I don't know why it was incompatible. It doesn't make any sense to me. All right, so I'm going to use this gray paper. 
my paper feels damp, so I'm hoping it doesn't interfere in the cutting. Oy, that kind of scares me. But... I'm sorry I didn't see what you were saying before. I don't understand why a pen would be incompatible. I could see if there was a size too big or something, but it doesn't make any sense. All right, we're going to put the gray colored paper. Guys, look at what I cut out yesterday. And then I had made a, um, okay, let's let the flashing get over. <laughs> I had made a brick stencil, so I stenciled the brick back background. And so I got a bear on a brick background. Now, craft roulette card. I'm sorry, I completely veered off. Squirrel, you know, there went Linda. Craft roulette card, large animal. Horizontal lines, which the bricks go in horizontal lines. Bakery colors, black, white, pink. Those equal bakery colors to me. But it needs a bookmark to be finished. Okay, back to what we were doing. All right, go next. So it's the mason jar lid is what we're cutting out right now. It's not a very big thing, but it's got little tiny itty bitty holes in it. So connect to the joy. Say medium cardstock because this is just Cricut cardstock that I have on here right now. So we're just going to say medium so that way it doesn't try to tear it apart. I don't think that loaded right. Did it load right? It'll kick it out if it didn't. It did. All right. And say go. So our weather right now is nice. It's going to get warm again today. Not that anybody is coming on here for a weather report for me from Florida, but <laughs> the weather is nice right now. It's going to get warm today. Um, but it's damp. From the night air being in this room it's a little bit damp in here I like it. I like what I'm doing. All right. Let's unload. And let's take our mason jar lid off the mat. Now, what I can do to make this even more of a mason jar lid is once we get into the card making, is I can score along those lines where those little holes have been cut into it, which I'll zoom in better once I have everything cut. But I'll score lines so that it actually, you'll see lines for the mason jar lid. That's what we'll do. All right. The next color says brown. Uh-oh. I didn't bring brown out here. All right. The brown would be for twine and the bow. But I'm not going to do this the same colors that it has. You you can see them. Cool. So, let's see. I do have a color that's not brown. But it's close. When I decide, if I decide to go over it with brown. Where is it? Where's my... Here we go. We'll do this one for the twine. Because then I can go over this with, like, gathered twig, which if I'd have thought ahead, I'd have brought it out. 
And so we're just going to say heavy cardstock, all material, heavy cardstock, but we're not going to say more. So this one is going to be the twine that is going to go on the card, the what it's supposed to be. Yes, then color it. Do it on white, then color it. If I do it on this color and color it, the brown will show up good. I'm not seeing any white other than these big whites that I have cut. And I'm saving the big white for the other piece. All right. I slowed it up. I'm sorry. I'm not following your instructions this morning well. <laughs> uh, play well with other Glinda. <laughs> But because the paper's already a yellowish brownish color, it'll take the gathered twig well. And it'll have that um Oh no 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 pause. Pause. Unload. See what happened? That didn't stick well. That's the only thing about these mats. They don't hold a stick well very long. Unlike the bigger mats. The bigger mats for some reason hold a stick longer. Not a stick, but stickiness. You do a couple of cuts and then mat loses its stickiness. I want to do a big project. But I need a blade for the bit, the maker. All right, let's try this again. Did I turn the paper the other way? I did. All right. Let's see if it stays on it this time. Pay attention to it, Linda. Go. Please stay on there. Please don't come off of there. This is going to be so cute when we finally get everything cut. Morning, Cordelia. Alright, let's unload it. And so now we have what should be our twine. What will look like our twine. It's just a little piece right now. I know it doesn't look like twine. But it's going to be our twine. Try to remember. I made this card a couple years ago, so now I'm trying to remember exactly what my how I did this. Pretty sure the twine goes around the lid. Pretty sure it goes around the lid. I'll have to look at the photo of it again. I'll know when I get everything cut out. Well, if I had pixie sprays, I could. Yes, that that's something I could do if I had those. All right, so now the next item is a label. And the little, you know, when you take a mason jar and you take a piece of fabric and it's got the little fabric on it and it, anyway, that's what we're cutting. And... I originally designed this to do yellow, like the bees. Maybe we will do yellow. Let's just do yellow because it's bright and sunny. Mm. That yellow is really thick, but that's okay. Okay. 
That yellow is really thick. We could do red shiny. Or pink. What color do we want? March isn't that far away, Melissa. Hopefully, come March, I'll have an answer. Hmm. I'll take a baby wipe and wipe them. The, the paper fibers get into this. But that other one that I wiped yesterday, it's not sticking very well either, so... All right, this is just a label in the thing. Let's go ahead and do yellow. We've done pink and pink and pink. Actually, you know what? Let's, yeah, let's do yellow. That's how I designed it so that I could go in later. And if I wanted to add some bees. Oh, pink for Valentine's? Okay. All right, we'll do pink. Do we want light pink or do we want dark pink? Light pink or dark pink? Light. Okay. Light pink. Alright. Light pink it is. This should... The paper should hold better on this too. Uh-oh. Go back. And that's just medium card stock. Let's pretend we have a brayer with us and not mark up our paper. There we go. All right, let's send it through. Oh, is it rainy morning there? Our sun is shining. We rained last night. Everything is wet and everything's damp from all the rain we had last night. All right, let's press go. And please stay on the mat and cut properly. Unload it, Linda. Unload. There we go. We got our label and we got our... We got the label. And we got our little... I don't know what to call it. I'm going to call it fabric. We got our fabric. For the jar. beautiful there. <laughs> it, people would consider it beautiful here too, right now. Alright, so, so far we have all these goodies. Now let's cut the main part. This is where we're going to use this big long mat. And we're going to use And we're just going to say medium cardstock because that's pretty much what this cardstock is because it's the recollections cardstock. Just going to use our scraper and push it down. And this is our card part. I do have a heart stencil. If you give me, once I get this cut out, I'll go grab my heart, heart stencil. I already have the worn lipstick sitting out, so 
All right. I don't know why it's making that noise. That's a funny noise. My heart sense is a little, they're a little big, but okay, press go, Linda. Press go. Go, speed racer. Go, 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 go. Okay, right now, instead of scoring in the middle, it cut a little slit out where the fold is going to be. And this machine will not score. So making cards. That's it. Unload. Turn it upside down. That was pretty quick. If you ask me. Uh oh. Get back over there. Now this mat, because it's brand new, is a little on the stickier side. Stamps are in the other room also, but I do have a stencil and I already have the ink out in here, so give me one second. I don't have everything in this space yet. It's like I'm bringing things out as I'm using them. Alright, so this is our... card base. And I'm just going to take and put a little mark right there. And just a little mark right there. And that's going to help us fold it. Instead of dragging out the scoreboard. And there's our mason jar. See that? And then we'll put everything together. Let me go grab that stencil real fast. That Melissa wants me to use. Ow. Oh, I just got an idea too. All right, sorry about that, y'all. All right, bear with me. I found something I want to use. Hi, Alicia. Welcome, welcome, welcome in. Welcome into the confusion. Welcome to the life of Linda. All right, so we're going to move that phone over. We're going to move the joy over. We're going to move this paper over. So I found, look, I have some pink and white twine. Since we're going to do the pink, don't you guys think? Or do you think the white instead of the paper for the twine? Or, or I can take, and because I grabbed... I can um, 
because I grabbed the cr brushed corduroy, I can use the brushed corduroy to color it. So I'm going to stencil the hearts onto this fabric piece, this piece. See, they're not very small. I should have a smaller. Oh, thanks, Melissa. And I should have grabbed a blue to give this a blue tint to it also. But I didn't. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's set this down. And let me zoom you guys in now that I'm not cutting. So you can see a little better. All right, look away for a second. That's too close. For the size of the card, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, that's an awesome question, Melissa. Because we all know where... I'm in Florida. Where are you from? All right. Let's get our worn lipstick out. Oh, Pennsylvania. So you're nice and cold also. Like a lot of our other viewers. All right. I need to remember to bring my my cloud of tape out here. My rainbow tape. Hey guys, you know, if 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 you're a praying of the praying kind, say a little prayer for Brutus Monroe. If what I read is right, he just lost his husband, and it'd be really nice if everybody would just say up a little prayer for him for some comfort and. Because nobody wants to be going through any pain like that. That's just horrible. Alright, there we go. So, do we want actual string or let's put some on our label too. Because we can stamp over our label later. Or no. Yay for the label or no. It is sad. It's heartbreaking. It's awful. I wouldn't wish that upon nobody. Okay. Okay. Heart on the label or no? Since I don't have a sentiment to put on it right now. Yeah, not sure on label. Okay, I'll hold off. Because I can always go back later. Can always go back later. All right, let me see. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cordelia. Too early in the morning for all these questions. I sorry. I think I'm done questioning. 
All right. Melissa needs to feel like she's crafting along with me. <laughs> so. It's already going on 10 a.m. But if you were up late, I get it. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're going to put some glue on here. And we're just going to glue our little fabric right down to there. Onto our jar. Yeah, I should have brought the blue color out. You slept till 7.30? 8 a.m. where you are, Melissa. But where Cordelia and I are, it is 9.48. Hi, Debbie J. How are you? Okay, guys. We gotta put some lines on our... We got to put some lines on our mason jar lid so that it looks more finished for me. Yeah, my dog was barking at me at like 7 something this morning, around 7. That's why I got up. All right, I'm just going to take this. And I'm just going to line this up in here. But I'm going to bring it closer to me to where I can see what I'm doing. So, bear with me. Alright. we got to make it so it's straight. See, I can't see with this. I need a... <laughs> so, right here on this line. I just want to put a little indention in it. And then right here on this one. Just want a little indention. Just so it looks like the mason jar lid. And then right there. There we go. There we go. So, Debbie J, I um, cut out all the stuff on our Cricut Joy and I'm just piecing it all together now. So, now I'm just going to glue this baby down. I need to figure out how to get on, um, we're going to put the lid down right on top of that and go, wait a minute, hold the phone, that's not right, come off of there and please don't be ruined, I didn't set that on there completely right, I didn't put that on right. See, I told you, bear with me. Bear with me, y'all. It has to go right here. Because it has to come out from underneath the jar, but it has to go over the jar. It has to come out from under the lid. It has to go over the jar. There we go. Now let's put our lid on, and it should look right. There we go. That doesn't look right either. It's not looking right, y'all. What am I doing wrong?
put this daggum thing together two years ago. It's supposed to hang out a little bit over the thing. And my lid should go right over it. Maybe I'm putting my lid on upside down. Nope. I'm not. Maybe it looks right to y'all. But it don't look right to me. Yeah, Debbie J does a lot of, um, you should be able to, um, are you on a phone, Melissa? Because if you're on a phone, it's harder to do than if you're on a thing. Um, let's just mess up our project, why don't we? All right, let's glue our label down. Debbie J is a um a wrench here too. She can add Debbie J. You can add your link if you like. So Debbie J does. A lot of different brands. Scrappy Tails. Um, not too shabby, I believe. Uh, Spellbinders. One day, maybe I'll get to do Spellbinders. You're on your iPad? Okay. Alright, so... Now we have to do... I think I'm going to stick with the paper because that's how the project was intended. Maybe not. Where's the end of this? Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. There we go. So if you like to do a lot of card making, Debbie J does a lot of card, a lot of awesome card making. She does foiling and you do the better press too, right? <laughs> yeah, you're a mod. You can add a link. <gasps> Debbie J. Yeah, I think that I only have two. I think my, both of them are here today. <laughs> I think, okay, Linda, take, take this off. I'm telling you, this glue does not like that metal lid. Oh, okay. You're multitasking. I'm not a good multitasker. So we're just going to put that right across there. And then we're going to put our little bow on. We're supposed to ink this, Linda, and you didn't. Put our little bow there. <coughs> oh, 
Well, do you have a bigger machine? I have this fine tip glue. Look, I have this fine tip glue bottle. See the fine tip? But this glue I'm using, this Eileen's Original Tacky Glue, which the reason I'm using this one is affordability. Everybody knows me knows I prefer art glitter glue. But at the moment, that's what I could afford, so that is what I'm using. Anyway, and we use what we have. So anyway, it does not like this fine tip pen. This fine tip, it clogs on me. It gets stuck in here. It's too thick of a glue to come through this. Oh, yours are different? Okay, cool. Well, I'm, I'm open to receiving gifts. I'm not going to deny gifts. Blessings. God, God taught me better than to deny any blessings to anybody. Isn't this adorable, y'all? But I'm thinking I would have preferred this on here better. So, back to the um, joy, Alicia. The best thing to do is just to get it out and use it. It's, I am going from a bigger machine down to this joy because I'm out of blades at the moment for the bigger machine. And it's testing me. It's testing my, I got to glue this bear down, by the way. I made him last night while I was watching Craft Roulette. And this I made with the joy. If you follow me on in design space, I will be taking a picture of the project and adding it there. And then you can just go in there and find the file. And I'll share the file in the description box also so you can just find it. And uh, that's if you're a Cricut user. Isn't it cute? I love this bear. I look at it and I'm like, oh my god, you're so adorable. <laughs> Cordelia, I don't know if you saw the skunk card. Well, not card. The skunk that I made. I put it... I haven't glued him down either because it, he's a little bit too big and I don't want to cut him. But there's the skunk. He's a design space image also. Cut with the Cricut Joy. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these little valentines. I need to start mailing them out. Okay, I took the lid off, but I needed to put this down. So, the only things I'm fi I'm finding is like I can't do stencils with the joy, but with my maker I could make stent. Come on, glue, cooperate with me. Okay. Well, I've already got some for the grandkids, but it's like, how many do I send to the grandkids? You know what I mean? How many do I actually mail them? So... Well, I guess I could mail them to them and let them give them to other people. I would prefer to get together with them and have them make some of their own. He's so cute. Well, I don't think that it can cut acetate. I don't think the blade is strong enough to cut acetate. Because the big machine has more pressure. And it takes a while to get through the acetate.
It's not that it cannot be done. It's just that it would end, I think your blade would end up getting dulled and you would only be able to make a little itty bitty, it's like, when I make a stencil, like these heart stencil, I want to make a big stencil. The only reason this brick one is small is because it ripped, because I did an intricate thing, because it's supposed to be these two together. You see how it's supposed to be, so I can just lay it over the entire card mat. Oh, now I read the ground her with a bookmark. Yeah, I didn't even think about grounding her. I just slapped her on a brick wall. Like she's coming through the brick wall. Yeah, I prefer the bigger stencils. It's easier to just handle and deal with. And, um... And... See how the intricate ones? It's like, it, it just ripped apart. So, I've got two littler ones. Which will work great for mixed media. But, like... This is, this is my favorite size right here, which I don't have my measuring thing in down, so I can't measure it. I'm leery about bringing my glass mat out here. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's what I want to do yet. Make a bookmark and put it under her. My brain is not seeing what you're saying. I mean, there's only this much space. Or not, she says. She's like, or not, Linda. <laughs> uh, my brain is screaming for more coffee. All right, let's put the lid back on these glues. This is going to need a sentiment. And, and I'm thinking high friend would be cute on there. I wanted it. I was starting it out. It was going to say thanks so very much. Because I have several people that I owe thank you cards to that, you know, I've got people in my life that like to bless me and I like to say thank you, even though I take forever to send my thank yous, uh, you know, it's like I owe thank yous out. A skunk's not considered a large animal. We can make him a bookmark and put him on the inside. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. There's no hurry. I have till tomorrow at midnight. Alicia, thank you for joining our family. I hope you hit subscribe and join to stick around with us. And those of you in the balcony, or as some other people call the lurkers, those lurking, or some in the balcony. Um, You're awesome. Awesome, Debbie. 
Yeah, it's a die cut of a large animal. And bakery colors. It needs a bookmark because the project is carved with a bookmark. And it's got horizontal lines. Oh, oh, the skunk, but it's a large die cut of an animal. Oh. But the bear is a large animal. I could turn him into a bookmark. Just put a paper clip on the back of them. I should have done that with the bear. Cut a slit in the card. That would have been a good use for paper. Oh, okay. It does work for my craft roulette card. So now I have to decide if I wanted the bear or the skunk. For craft roulette. So those of you watching the replay. And those in the in the in the chat now can answer me now. But I still have to make a bookmark. Either way, they're all bakery colors because they're all the same color. The only thing difference is this card will have yellow and red, and this one will not. But they're all black and white and pink. Oh, I can always redo that because uh, there is one with a bear holding a book. Actually, there is one. I need more coffee, guys. The card. The cards. Are black and white and pink all over. If I had said black and white and red all over, then it might be a newspaper I was talking about, but I was talking about my two cards. Let me show you these real quick because this would actually be okay. So I'm in Cricut Design Space on my phone. And I'm just going to type in animal. Animal. There's so many cute animals, guys. But that's not what I want. Go back. Go to my canvas. Now go to... Image. And under search, I'm going to type in animal. Actually, let's type in... Fox. There's a fox with a book. Let's see if I can find it. Oh no. Let's just go to the animal search because all images it will give me animals. If you're on a bigger computer, this is so much easier. Just type in animal. Animal. Look at all these cute animals, guys. Look at the bear. Okay, so when you search on your phone versus searching on um, a computer, the images come up differently. Look at all these cute faces. All right. Let's get sp specific. Fox with book look at that look at the fox with the book there's one reading there's a bunny with a book or a fox with a book look at them look at that 
Can you guys see these? This one. This is the one I wanted you to see. Look at that. How adorable is that? That's not a fox. It's got a ring tail. What is that? The one with the pink book. Do you see it? Uh, it's like... Look at all these dyes I have at, at my fingertip. Oh, look at the little raccoon. Is that what that's supposed to be? Is a raccoon? No, that ain't no raccoon. That's a raccoon. Now look at the raccoon with the book. One has a bookmark. Really? Did I miss that? Oh my god, look. There's the fox bookmark. Uh, guys, I could get so lost. This is a rabbit hole I go down. I love my Cricut machine. Have I told y'all this lately that I love Cricut? <laughs> Uh, look at all these. Oh, look at them all. If I was making flashcards for little kids, look at the little reindeer with a book. This guy is right here. He's going to get in trouble. Oh, no, he's sitting down reading with his light. I thought he was running with a book and a lamp. And I was like, but he's not running. He's, he's sitting down. Oh, okay. He's reading a book with a bookmark in it. I'll have to go back through and look closely at these. I love this one right here. I have to bookmark that. I love it. The little kitty cat with the book. Oh my god, okay. So boy, we've gotten way off of the mason jar, huh? Okay, wait. If that is where that is... And this is the center. Okay. I'm testing something. That's not my center of my screen. That should be center of my screen. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I had fun. I hope you guys did also. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think the card is sweet. And when I get ready to stamp something on it and in it. I'll be able to do that. If I come up with anything... In the, in the Cricut, in the design space area that I decide to change. If I decide to do something other than the skunk or the um, bear. I'll make a little short video that y'all know. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. and Thank you if you're watching the replay for watching the replay. And oh. Thank you. I'm glad you think it's always fun. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up and sharing to other people so they can find us. Have a great weekend. Off to go rob the bank. Okay. Bye. So long. Farewell. La 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 la. I'll be knocking down my, my landmarks.
<laughs> Bye, guys. Do 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 do